Liberty Flames football back inside Williams Stadium. Flames taking on the Blue Hose of Presbyterian College. Liberty trying to win three straight for the first time this season and keep hope alive in the hunt for the Big South Championship. First drive of the game, Flames quarterback Josh Woodrum trying to bounce back from a shaky performance a week ago, and he gets the offense off to a good start here. A 20-yard touchdown pass to Darren Peterson, capped a seven-place, 65-yard drive as Liberty goes up 7-0. Second possession for Presbyterian, and it's Blake Roberts on a second and eight. Fumbling the football, Jacob Hagan with the forced fumble, and Scott Hyland recovers, sets Liberty up at its own 10-yard line. Third straight week, Liberty's defense did not allow a first quarter touchdown. Second quarter now, and this week, Des Rice was listed as questionable for the Flames on Tuesday. Here he caps off this Liberty drive with a one-yard touchdown run. 18 plays, 90 yards for the Flames as they go up 14 to nothing. Next PC possession, though, Blue Hose trying to hang around. A second and six here from the Liberty Nine, and Hayes McMath finds Joey Gilkey over the middle. Nine-yard touchdown pass. Gilkey's first career touchdown reception against the Flames, and this is fourth game. Made it a 14-7 ball game. Next Liberty possession, we haven't seen this face in a while. Al Drakus Allen, senior back on the field for the Flames for the first time since November 17th. Been out with a calf injury all year. Gets a six-yard gain here on his first carry, but finished with only three carries for 22 yards. Still nice to see him back on the field. Late second quarter, one of the bigger plays in the game here. Presbyterian down seven on a third and seven, and McMath throws this one right to Jacob Hagan. Flame safety there with the interception. His second in as many weeks. Takes it back 44 yards and sets the Flames up deep in Blue Hose territory. Drive started at the PC 32, and it's capped off here by another Des Rice rushing touchdown. 14 yards to the end zone, put Liberty up 21-7 heading into the locker room. Third quarter, though, Presbyterian would not go away. It's McMath on a second and goal from the Liberty 4. Take matters into his own hands. Four-yard touchdown run, and again, PC within one score. Another big play in the ball game here midway through the third quarter. PC down one score still. And on a fourth and two, they run the fake punt. Jeremiah Mackey, yeah, that was probably a bad idea. Stuffed by Jerron Green, Flames would take over at the Presbyterian 28-yard line. Five plays later, the Flames would cash in. Des Rice's third touchdown of the night here from six yards out. And that pretty much put this one out of reach. 28-14 the score heading into the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter, here's the exclamation point, a second and five from the PC6. DJ Abner, fifth career rushing touchdown, this one from six yards out as well. That put the Flames up 35-14, and they would go on to win by the same count. Big night for Des Rice on the ground, obviously. Three rushing touchdowns, 96 yards on 22 carries. He was a workhorse for the Flames. As they racked up 231 yards on the ground as a team for the game. After tweaking his leg last week against VMI, Rice had to put on a little extra work this week to get himself in playing condition. I mean, I absolutely hate going in the training room. I don't like it. I don't like being hurt, but, you know, this week it was very important for me to be in there. I was in there, you know, in the morning, in the night, uh, you know, right before practice. I was in there the whole week, and the, the trainers did a great job getting me ready to play this week. Uh, I didn't even practice very much during the week until, you know, Thursday. So they, they did a good job getting me back, and I, I felt good right up uh, at the beginning of game time. We never gave up on the season, but, yeah, this gives you just that extra little get up, you know. Like I said, we have hope. We have opportunity. So keep playing. Try to play our best game every week. Well, I think the biggest thing was probably for us capitalizing whenever they turned the ball over. Uh, we held them on fourth down, put a touchdown on the board. Uh, right before half, had an interception. We put a touchdown on the board. I think that was the two biggest plays defensively and then offensively being able to do those things of that nature. So I think it was just uh, overall great performance by our football team.